You know, you said something earlier today that I thought was very um, eye-opening about the hippocampus. Hippocampus. Yes. And um, could you share a little bit about that? And maybe it would help some people that are saying, I, I really want to be free. Why do I feel this way? But Because there's literally things that are happening in our brain that make us hold on to beliefs. Yes. We have this part of the brain, what's called the hippocampus. That keeps every experience we had throughout all our life. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a library. And each time we remember something, it comes from there, goes to our front part of the brain, so we know about it. But that wow. hippocampus, those, that library of those memories, those experiences help build a belief system mm -hmm. which guides us to how we behave. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. The problem with racism is that it's ingrained in that hippocampus, in that, be in that belief system. So that belief system now tells us how to react. For example, if this cup, if first time I drank it, I got my lips burnt. And in my hippocampus says, well, things that come in this thing will burn your lips. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the conclusion. Mm -hmm. So if I don't change it, I won't be able to drink from the cup even if it's cold because my, my brain tells me it's going to burn your lips. If you heal, it changes that. It says, oh, no, no, one time it burned your lips. Yes. The next time it's not going to burn your lips. This is what therapy really tries to help us. Yeah. One of the problems in my community is that most of us are so far removed from slavery, mm -hmm. but we're still holding on to it, mm -hmm. even though we are so far from it. Why? Because our brain is thinking like, okay, I'm going to be discriminated against, I'm going to be looked yeah. down mm -hmm. upon, because that's what we believe. So if we don't do anything to heal it, to change what's in there, yes. we're going to go mm -hmm. stuck. A person like me, if I had held up to how white people treated me in Africa, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have yeah. come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No way. Or even if I had come here, I would have stayed just yeah. in Oak Cliff mm -hmm. with the yeah. people that look like me. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to an all-white school. So very quickly I realized, hey, I'm just a student in this class, just like everyone else. Yeah. Or when I did good grades and people go like, wow. I remember one time I wrote an English paper that was the best in the class. So the professor gets up there and says, you never guess who wrote this. Oh. Oh, and no. they tried to guess it, no. It says, it's the guy from Africa, he can hardly speak any English, but he wrote the best paper. Mm -hmm. Well, I went back to my room. One of the students came to me and says, you know what? I don't believe that. Mm. I think your roommate helped you. Oh, oh wow. So I told my roommate, Matt, that and he was very upset. Yes. He says, you have to help me write the paper, not me <laughs> wow. write you. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's how yeah. people think. If we take this mentality that I am less than, yeah. people will jump on it because we're just kidding ourselves that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Or I refuse to do that. If I walk a certain way with people, I carry myself in the way that I believe about me. Yes. That's the important thing about healing. In our community as black people, we can't keep saying white people, you need to change. You need to change the way you treat us. Right. We have to change ourselves. Yes. Mm. Um, Personal remember, responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. Because we do have our racist thoughts too. Mm -hmm. And we have to overcome those. Mm -hmm. If we don't, what we tend to do is to say it's them. It's yes. the why it's people fault. have yeah. those. Yes. We don't see ours. Yeah. I saw young people playing uh, basketball just not too long ago and I approached there. There's two white guys come up there and says, hey guys, can we play? And the white guys, the black guys just ignored them. And I wanted to see what was happening. So I stopped there, stopped my running, and I, I'm going like, uh, excuse me, these guys want to play. Oh no, they cannot play. I said, why? Well, <laughs> dude, <laughs> white men can't jump. Oh. And, and I said, well, let's see if they can. So, come on, give them. Here's what happens. Those white kids go in the play, I mean, they'll go in circles around this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and this wow. is, oh, I think you can play. Well, two things happened there. Their racist thoughts mm. were erased because they opened themselves up to see so something they've not seen before. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. One of the things I was going to say is, is that if you have a victim mentality mm -hmm. and if you blame other people, you're unable to see 
your own problems. Right. And one of the things for myself is before I start looking at other people, I need to examine myself first mm -hmm. and be responsible for myself. And when you take responsibility of yourself, then you're able to go out and actually change the world around you.